Good evening and welcome to Robin's Fanatics TV with me AJ and today I'm reporting on the pitching in Isthmian League Premier Division fixture between Carshorton Athletic and Canvey Island. Uh, before the start of play today Canvey Island were currently sitting in 6th place and Carshorton Athletic are uh, 1 place below them in 7th. Both teams just outside the playoffs but a win for either team tonight today would have put them either in, back into the playoffs, it's that close. Um, as for team changes, there's two team team changes from the Robin side that got a lucky 1 1 draw at Brighton Sea Region on Tuesday night. Uh, Arthur Lee and Alex Acrofi uh, both start in place of Tommy Bradford and Ollie Cook. So, uh, yeah, the last result for both teams is Kosh. Carshorton and Athletic obviously had that one all draw away at Brighton and Sea Regent. And Canvey Island had a 3 2 home win over bottom side Herm Bay. Uh, in the a reverse fixture of this season, uh, back in November, uh, it finished Canvey Island 1, Carshorton and Athletic 1. Um, Tom Beer opening the scoring for the Robins on the 12th minute, but then got pegged back just on half time. Might be a bit of deja vu here, uh, but yeah, uh, all the, our friends from Victoria Cologne came down for that game as well, so it was a cracking atmosphere. I'm led to believe I wasn't there, I couldn't make it unfortunately. <clears throat> but as for the game itself, well, it wasn't exactly a thriller to be fair. Um, you know, first off, I mean, there was no real clear cut chances. Um, Danny Bracken had a couple of uh, um easy shots to deal with but that won't really cause many problems and uh, I don't think we made their goalkeeper pull off any real top notch saves again he had some easy ones as well uh, but um, yeah, both teams were sort of you know, playing it out trying to trying to get the upper hand but it just ended up being a bit of a dull sort of midfield battle um, but just on half time uh, Canvey Island broke the deadlock and uh, Bradley Such um, scored after he took, advent took advantage of a defensive error between the centre-back and Danny Bracken. And um, he ended up um, passing the ball into an empty net. Didn't quite see what happened there, but, um, you know, he just seemed you know, there was a bit of a mix-up. And uh, he was free to poke the ball home. And it was right on half-time. It was literally the last kick of the game. A bit like the away fixture. So... Half time at Colson Avenue, it was Carshorton Athletic nil, Canvey Island one. Um, second half was pretty much a copy of the first half, really. Uh, a lot of lot of play midfield, a lot of possession being won and lost. Um, Carshorton, I don't think, gave the uh, away keeper uh, any real worries, and um, yeah. Uh, a few corners again. We've had so many corners in recent games, but we've not used any of them. It's really frustrating. Um, but um, yeah, no real efforts from the Robins uh, or Canvey Island, to be fair. Um, but then they did get an effort on the 79th minute. It did put them 2 0 up. Uh, substitute Ashley Nazali um, made a good run, um, passed the ball into the box to Charlie Edwards. And he fired at home to make it 2 0 to Canvey Island. Uh, and that pretty much killed the game off as a contest, really. Um, I mean, Carl Shorten had made like a treble sub just beforehand as well, because it was going a bit stout for the Robin, so they thought they'd liven up a little bit. Uh, so we, we'd done three subs, done a triple sub. Uh, Tom Bradford came on for Matt Vigo, Gus So for Curtis Cumberbatch, and Chimida McKenzie, a Tumulto, uh, came in for Alex Ecrofi. And uh, to be fair, for the first couple, of, for the first five ten minutes or so, it did sort of give us a bit of a lift. But uh, it was in that time when Canvey went up the other end and scored their second goal and put the game to bed as a contest. Uh, yeah, uh, apart from what, again, they didn't really work the uh, away keeper. It was probably a comfortable win, really. Yeah, in the end, um, yeah. So full time came, and it has finished. Uh, short and Athletic nil, Canvey Island 2. Uh, now that result uh, put Canvey Island up in the playoff place, moved them up to 5th place and dropped us down to 8th. Uh,
we still have like three points off it, but it's it's getting a little bit further and further away now. But um, overall, I mean, <sighs> I mean, one one fan said to me afterwards, um, he said, "Well, you you know you, know you missed the, the Brighton City Regent game. Well, it was very similar to that, you know." Um, we were lucky to get a point at Brighton Sea Regent, for what I can gather from uh, people that were there. Well, you know, there wasn't many there. There wasn't hardly anyone there, actually. But, um, yeah, we was lucky to come away there for a point. Um, but, yeah, I shortened today. I don't know. It just seemed, just seemed something missing. I don't quite don't quite know what it is. I mean, uh, we sort of, I know we've had sort of some cuts recently in the, um, we've still got uh, a really small uh, squad. Well, we just seem to have a we have a really good sort of starting eleven, but if any of those get injured, um, they're going to be like struggling. But um, yeah, uh, it was just you know, it was just a but there wasn't there wasn't much wasn't much in it. I don't I don't know. I'm just saying this from out from looking outside in. Um, but I don't know if some players are just being a bit complacent now because uh because the squad size is so small. Um, then maybe they're not playing hundred percent because they know even if they have a bad game, they'll still be in the squad next week. I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's that's how it seems. But um, yeah, it was was a was a poor disjointed performance today from the Robins. Um, quite disappointing. We had that good form before we lost the Herring game, and we're sort of struggling to recapture it since. Uh, you know, sort of three games now and not a win. So I mean our playoff hopes are sort of slide sliding away. I mean we still you know, still got a chance. You know, while we're still there we still got a chance, but um we sort of dropping away from it a little bit like before the infield game last week, if you won we'd have gone top. But this week, you know, it's sort of it's all changed now and uh yeah, infield is still top and we've we dropped down to eighth now. So but just needs I don't know, I don't know if I don't want to say our season's over, but um I don't know if complacency is just setting in because there's really no one challenging for other for all the positions. Um, I'm just seeing this as as I see it as a fan looking, not watching the games, like I said. But uh, yeah, but we need to sort of if we wanna if we're serious about uh, being in the playoffs, uh, we need to sort of just up our game a little bit more and sort of try and put in some uh, some more efforts and put in just try and get some chances and try and have some better set pieces. I mean, oh, it's just that it's so frustrating. You've got a player that can take a good set piece, but he's not. He gets does one a game, and the rest are just you know, over hit or under hit, or don't get past the first defender, or a free kick, you know, isn't taken properly. Um, it's just it's just frustrating. Um, you know, I just I don't know. I, I, it's just you know, I don't want to see us sort of fall down. I think we're, we're safe from relegation. I don't think that's going to happen. We're never going to be down there, um, but. Um, you know, if we don't buck up our ideas, our season can again slip into uh, mid-season mediocrity like it did last year. I um, hope not. But, um, you know, we've got some tough games coming up. You know. um, talking of which, next game for the Robins is again against fellow playful hope, playoff hopefuls, uh, Cray Wanderers, uh, away at, at Bromley FC's uh, fabulous ground. So, uh, yeah, that's next Saturday. Uh, and um, they are currently sitting in seventh place, uh, a couple of points ahead of us. I mean, if, if we win and results go away, we could still be in the playoffs. So it's it's not over. It's not over by no any means. But we just need to sort of just be a little bit more, a little bit more lively, a little bit more brave. We're just asking for a bit more bravery. You know, you sort of you get the ball out and have a shot. If the keeper saves it or it goes wide, at least you've had the effort. You're never going to be slated for that. It's just that. Uh, you know, they pass it all to someone else and then he loses it and then the chances chances are gone and that's been our problem um, recently. It seems like someone's not too scared to sort of, you know, take initiative and just have a pop, you know. You have a go, keeper saves it or it goes over, it goes wide, you know, hits the post, hits the crossbar, it's fine, at least you have an effort. But we just seem to have very few efforts on goals because no one's really brave enough to uh, take the chance. But um, I'm sure... I'm sure Steve's working on that uh, in the training sessions, and um, you know we just got we just need to sort of just be a bit more, a bit more direct, um, really. And uh, when a chance comes and you get space, you get the ball, 
put it in or use the wings, you know. A couple of times a day there's players outside on the wings, but then the other, you know, they cut and pass it inside and the ball gets lost, you know. But, um, you know, it's it's, it's frustrating because you know they've, they can play better than that and they have played better than that. But it's just, we've just seen they lost our way just a little bit um, since the Harringay defeat. But hopefully we can regain it soon. But like I say, uh, Cray Wanderers next week is going to be a tough game. So uh, we need to be up for that one. You know, because if we lose that one and fall further back, then, you know, our season could start, you know, start to be over. But um, but while we're still there, we still got a chance. So let's just hope we can just turn this form around and get back to winning ways like we did uh, over over Christmas and uh, January and uh, try and try and push up the league table. So, um, yeah, so that's it from me. Um, no highlights today at all. I don't think I would have had much Kyle and highlights anyway, even if I could do this vlog at Colson Avenue. But, uh, yeah, so that's it from me. Um, again, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, and uh, I thought I'd do you with another classic Kyle Shorten shirt. You know, so uh, I've got a few of these. So, um, yeah, but uh, so I'm going to wrap this up now. Um, I may be back midweek. Uh, Chips had got a game on Tuesday night, so um, I might go do that one and do a vlog for that one. I ain't been to Chipsy for a little while, so Chipsy be south or so I might do a vlog for that one. But, um, we'll see how it goes. Um, but this is it from me, AJ. I'm signing off this vlog now. Again, thank you for watching, and um, I will see you soon. All right? Ta-ra.